music even sounds outer spacey, doesn't it? Do you hear that? That whistling sound? Yeah. That was the sound of Apollo 11 launching astronauts in 1969. Tapes just made available from the Apollo 10 mission reveal an eerie experience they had on the dark side of the moon. That's the one furthest away from Earth. NASA says they believe what they heard was radio interference. But now, well, there's a local scientist thinking he's discovered the cause of another great space mystery. That scientist, the director of space programs at MOSI, spoke to the NOW's Adam Weiner about his groundbreaking discovery. Astronomers are always listening into outer space, so imagine you're listening closely for something as quiet as a pin to drop. Bam, you hear something as loud as books slamming on a table. That's what happened in 1977. And take a look at this. This is the actual, a copy of the actual notes that this astronomer made back then. You can see he circled the moment that the sound happened, even wrote the words, wow. That moment in scientific history has become so well known that the sound he charted is now known as the wow signal. And with the use of radio telescopes, even amateur radio telescopes, Basically, we can sit there and record all these cool sounds. Some of them sound like uh, sonar pings from a submarine. Some of them actually sound like spooky sounds, like a haunted house. Professor Antonio Paris of the Museum of Science and Industry in Tampa thinks the wow signal has long stumped scientists because they were distracted. Because everybody was looking for aliens. Um, for the most part, everybody's looking for a radio signal from an extraterrestrial, excuse me, extraterrestrial source. And I wanted to approach this from a natural phenomena. So Professor Paris and his colleagues went back in time, tracking the paths of comets only recently discovered. With development of astronomy software, um, and, the, and NASA is using kind of like wayback machines to, to plot where these comets are moving through. Paris now thinks he knows what the radio telescope was pointing at. Two comets that were in the very same area during the same time and same date. So. Astronomically speaking, when you look at the universe, for these things to all be in the same place, it's one in a billion. His theory was just published for other scientists to study as well. I'm Adam Weiner for the NOW Tampa Bay.